Photoshop is one of the most powerful tools in any entrepreneur's tool belt. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to isolate your subject and remove any background as easy as one, two, three. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking all about Photoshop. So like always, let's get straight into it and dive right into the program. So the photo I've selected today is a photo taken back in 2016 for the original collection of the Wire Watches product launch. It was taken inside a light box, which makes it very simple to take out the background. However, it doesn't matter if you're taking a photo from a light box or outside in an everyday situation, the principles of taking out the background are exactly the same. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, I've linked the photo down below for you to download. Otherwise, open your desired photo in Photoshop and let's get started. With Photoshop open, there's only a couple things that you're going to need to use. And that's one, the polygonal lasso tool, and two, a couple shortcuts I'm going to teach you along the way. If you don't have the polygonal lasso tool highlighted already, you can simply hold and press the third icon until three objects appear and select the polygonal lasso tool. Alternatively, you can press Shift and L and tap through the different lasso tools. Now, we're going to want to zoom in as close to this photo as possible to make sure we get an accurate outline of the product. The simplest way is to hold Control and press plus. Alternatively, you can hold Alt and scroll with your scroll wheel if you have a mouse with a scroll wheel. To get started, you want to simply click on your first point and slowly outline the entire photo. If you make any mistakes, say you jump right in like this, you can simply press the backspace and it will remove that last node. Another trick that you're going to need to know is when you get to a little bit higher up in this photo and you can't see any more of the photo, you, all you need to do is let the mouse scroll to the edges and it's going to move the photo further out. Now outlining this is going to take a little bit of time so I'm going to fast forward this video here. So with the whole object now outlined you want to take out these little spaces in between the watch to make sure it's a clean product photo. Again we're going to hold alt and scroll in. Now there's one thing that you need to take note of and it's these four little icons up the top. The first one represents a single outline or a single selection only. It means once you make a second selection, the original one will be removed. The second icon here lets you do multiple selections. The third takes out of an original selection. And the fourth divides the selection into a unique space. Now for the purposes of this video, we're going to need the third tool. We're going to need to remove these little sections from the already outlined image. If you do need to make a straight line, you can hold the shift key, which is going to lock the selection tool in any direction that you need it to. If you do make a mistake and want to start again, you can simply press the escape key and it will deselect everything that you've already started to do. Okay, so once you've outlined the entire watch and all the little spaces in between, it's as simple as pressing Control shift i to invert the selection and pressing the delete key to delete the background. Now, if you also want to add a white background or a black background or potentially place it into another photo, all you're going to need to do is create a new layer, which is down here in the bottom, second one from the bin, click that one, drag the layer underneath the watch itself, head over to the paint bucket, press and hold until you get paint bucket tool, and then select your colours. You can either have black, or if you use a little toggle here, you can also have white. Now if you're using Shopify, one thing that you're going to need to know is that Shopify likes to have a one by one grid for its photos. So the best way to achieve a one by one square is to press the C button to crop, go up here and go one by one square and click OK. And that's all there is to it guys. Photoshop is a very simple program once you understand the basics. Hopefully with this information you're going to go back and be able to take out the background of any photo for any product on your website and become a great entrepreneur in 2019. Like always, I'm going to be releasing a new econ video every Monday from here on in. So smash that subscribe button 2019 style and I'll see you in the next one.